Hello traders, FX Pipcolette here. Today is Monday, February 6th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, we have been going out very strong on gold because we do have the end of an A, three waves up for the B, and a downtrend for the wave C. I think it's the end of an A, B, C of four, and if that's the case, then this is going to keep on trending up. I think it's going to go up to right around the $2,100 area to finish off this wave five. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame, this is where you can start to see this downtrend back here. One, two, three, four, five of wave C. Nice big impulsive move up, taking out a whole bunch of structure along the way. It proves to me that this is the end of a Gretzen. I think it's a one, two, three, four, five, maybe even a wave one. We'll have to see. Either way, I do think this is a Gretzen, and I do think it will eventually end up continuing the uptrend to finish that wave five. So let's head down to the daily time frame. Daily time frame is where you can start to see that this does look like a one, two. This is all a wave three. I think this is an irregular ABC or an irregular top or an irregular wave B as I like to call it for the wave four. And this last push up is a wave five. Like I said, it could just be a wave one of five. This definitely looks like a very impulsive move down. Took out Strutzer. I think this is going to be a crutch into the whole trend, which means it'll probably go someplace between the 38.2 and the 78.6. I think the most likely place it's going to actually go is probably the 50 or the 61.8 to finish this wave C, make an impulsive move up, take out Strutzer, and continue the uptrend. So let's take it right down to the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame is where you can start to see this downtrend, which I do not think is over. I think this move up is part of a crutch into the last push down. I do think that this will continue down and it's probably going to make lower lows, lower highs to finish off this wave A. So I'm definitely looking for sorts on sorter time frames. Going down to the one hour time frame, I got my Fibonacci retracement only measuring this last wave down because if this move up is a crutzen, we definitely want to recognize it. It looks a little more like a trend, which makes me think that it is a wave A, but looking at the longer time frames, this very easily could just keep on drifting down. But if it does what I think it should do, it should make a wave B now and then eventually go up and make a wave C. Probably the 50 or the 38.2 is the most likely place for it to go and before it ends up continuing the downtrend. So like I said, I'm definitely looking for sorts. I'm only looking to go sort at the end of ABC Corrections. And looking at the longer time frames, if this really is the end of a big trend, we may not even get a B and a C. We very easily could just get the continuation of the downtrend. So that is my forecast on gold versus the U.S. dollar. If you have any questions or comments, you can find me on Discord. The link to my free Discord is in the description. Thanks and happy trading.